Hey guys, welcome back to Click It, your best source for all things in IT. Today, I want to discuss a critical topic for all developers, software engineers, and generally speaking, anyone working in the IT sector. You might have heard of or used FastAPI, Django, or Flask at some point, but which framework will top the charts in 2025? If you are interested in finding out more, don't skip, watch the entire video to learn more. I'm Mario, a software engineer at Clickit, and in this video, I'm going into detail about FastAPI versus Django versus Flask. I will compare their strengths, weaknesses, and what makes each one stand out. For anyone who hasn't heard about any of them, here is a quick overview. FastAPI is a modern web framework built on Python. It is designed specifically for quick development with support for asynchronous programming and automatic generation of interactive API docs. Django, on the other hand, is a larger framework that comes with everything you need to build complex websites. It has many built-in features, so you don't have to add any extra components or tools to get things done. This makes it a great choice for creating complex projects. And finally, Flask is the minimalist option. It is a lightweight micro framework that offers flexibility and simplicity for smaller projects or microservices. These three frameworks are great at what they do and have their unique sets of features. The comparison between FastAPI, Django, and Flask is especially important today because the rise of AI, serverless architecture, and edge computing is reshaping the key factors developers consider when choosing the right framework. These trends push frameworks to prioritize scalability, low latency performance, and smooth integration with cloud services. They also emphasize the need for frameworks that support distributed processing, efficient resource management, and real-time data handling at the edge. Therefore, choosing the right framework will decide how scalable your application is in the future. These trends are changing the way we build and deploy software, and your framework needs to be up to the challenge. To make your job easier, we'll also go over the important factors to consider when selecting a framework. As a software engineer, I make it a habit to choose the best framework for the job before using it. What do you think about the video so far? Is it interesting? If so, remember to like the video and subscribe to our channel. I know that some things I share in this video can be a bit difficult to understand. However, you can always ask in the comments and or reach out at clickittech.com. Now that you have a basic understanding of what I am about to talk about, let's discuss the practical applications of FastAPI, Django, and Flask. Each framework has an area in which it is good, so understanding where they excel can help you make the correct decision. Let's start with FastAPI. This framework is a game changer for APIs, microservices, and real-time applications. Its asynchronous features make it efficient for managing large volumes of data and real-time processing. FastAPI must be on your radar if you're building a high-performance modern API or a microservice that requires speed and scalability. Moving over to the second framework, Django is ideal for developing complex, feature-rich web applications. It is mostly used for creating admin dashboards and large-scale systems, where built-in features and robust architecture are beneficial. Django's toolset, together with its built-in functionalities, makes it a great choice for projects that require a lot of integrated features right out of the, out of the box. And last but not least is Flask. If your goal is to develop simple web applications, prototypes, or small-scale apps, Flask offers the simplicity and flexibility you need. As a micro-framework, Flask allows you to build applications with minimal setup and is highly extensible. This makes it perfect with, for quickly prototyping or a simple web app. By understanding these use cases, you can better align your framework choice with the specific needs of your project. Fast API versus Django versus Flask in AI and ML. When discussing Fast API versus Django versus Flask, I should talk about how these frameworks will integrate with AI and ML models in 2025. Let's start with the Django. Django plus AI integration. As I've mentioned before, Django is highly reliable and has many features. Therefore, it is an excellent choice for integrating AI into applications. It includes support for a variety of third-party libraries and tools that can enhance AI functionalities. You can use Django's object relational mapping and built-in admin panel to manage AI models effectively. Django's administrative interface can be used to manage model training processes, visualize results, and handle large datasets efficiently. 
This makes Django particularly suitable for applications that require a lot of built-in functionality and where AI features are a part of a larger, more complex system, Flask in AI and ML models. Now I'll move on to Flask and how it works with artificial intelligence and machine learning models. Flask's simplicity and flexibility are key strengths for developing AI and ML models. Flask provides a minimalistic approach that allows developers to integrate various machine learning libraries easily. It's often used to create lightweight API endpoints for serving already trained ML models. Flask's simple setup is ideal for prototyping and developing models built with libraries. This framework can also handle HTTP requests and responses very efficiently. Therefore, it's perfect for applications where you need to expose ML models as APIs for inference and predictions. Flask flexibility allows developers to customize and extend their applications as needed. These features make it a popular choice for smaller scale projects or when you need to quickly roll out an AI feature. Fast API for real-time AI-powered APIs. The next framework is Fast API. Fast API is the best out of the three for building APIs that need to process and respond quickly, especially in applications involving AI. Its asynchronous capabilities enable the creation of highly responsive applications. These applications can handle a high volume of requests with low latency. This is advantageous for AI applications that require real-time data processing, such as live image or speech recognition, and natural language processing tasks. Fast API's high speed and performance are especially valuable when working with AI models that need to process data and deliver responses quickly. This framework supports modern Python features such as the automatic generation of interactive API documentation. This makes it an outstanding choice for building APIs that serve AI models in real time. As you can see, each framework offers unique strengths for integrating AI and ML into applications. Understanding these unique capabilities can help you choose the right framework to meet your AI and ML needs. Which one do you like the most? Let me know in the comment section below. As I wrap up our comparison of FastAPI, Django, and Flask, let me summarize their strengths and ideal use cases to help you make the right decision. FastAPI is fast and efficient. Therefore, it's perfect for building high-performance APIs and real-time applications. The Django is mostly used in applications where a lot of features are required. And last but not least, Flask's simplicity and flexibility make it ideal for simple web apps, prototyping, and small-scale projects. What to keep in mind when choosing a framework? Always consider your project's requirements before selecting a framework. Start by assessing the complexity and scale of the application. Are you building a small prototype or a large, feature-rich platform? Consider performance requirements like real-time processing, as well as the level of built-in functionality needed, such as authentication and database management. Think about future scalability and the community support behind each framework, as this can impact long-term maintenance. Additionally, the learning curve and ease of integration with other tools should be evaluated. Ultimately, your framework choice should align with your project goals and developer expertise. Are you looking to build a high performance application but unsure which framework is right for you? Our expert team can help. At Clickit, we specialize in developing custom software solutions for your unique needs. Contact us today to ensure your project is in the right hands and set up for success. Visit our website to learn more about our services. We hope that this video was useful. Please hit the like button and leave a comment below if you liked it. Thank you for joining us as we explore the fast API versus Django versus Flask and examine which framework might rule in 2025. Are you excited to see how these frameworks will develop to keep up with the latest trends? To keep yourself updated about the newest updates in technology and development, make sure to subscribe to our channel and explore our videos on web development. Until next time, happy coding.